Hello everyone. Today I will explain to you when we connect our adapters to the indoor unit why we do not suggest you to remove the original wide remote controller because they have three key point reasons we do not suggest do this. Uh, firstly, I will show you uh, if the indoor unit without the wild remote controller, it will still work. As we see now, when the old general system cooling state is working, uh, the indoor unit uh, will have a click sound. So now the original while remote control is working. Now I disconnect the original remote controller. Now it is power off. We adjust the uh, nest touch temperature up and the cooling is uh, cooling is off. Now uh, we try to start up the cooling state again on the nest. We will see uh, the old general Indoor still can work. You will still hear the clicks on, on the uh, indoor PCB board. Uh, let's see. Let's wait the time. Now the Nest is starting the cooling model. We will hear the click sound from the indoor again. It means uh, without the original remote wide controller, uh, the indoor still work, but why we do not suggest you do this? There are three reasons. Firstly, the original wire remote controller and the indoor unit and out all unit form a complete closed system. Remove the original while remote controller will break this closed system, so it is not rec recommend you to do so. The second, after you use the smart thermostat, the original while remote controller act as a monitor. You can only clear to know the work state of the indoor unit based this monitor. You can know fan speed, on off state, and set point. If you do not have this wild remote controller, you cannot know the, know this information. Just can judge from the uh, fan work state or compressor work state. Thirdly, we need to check the error code. Uh, I will just know we hear the click sound. The system became uh, very slow after we remove the, the wild remote controller, but it can still work. Thirdly, we need to check the error code from the original wild remote controller if issues happens without the wild remote controller. When the problem comes, you do not know what has happened. That's all. So we do not suggest you remove the remote wild remote controller after you connect the smart thermostat. Thank you anyway. If you feel our video do help for you, please subscribe our channel or give us a like. Thank you.